Hello guys, in this video we will learn how we can clone any website using command line. Now suppose that's my website that is hosted on the server. Now I want to copy that whole content and the whole pages of that website. That's the one page and you can see whenever I click on the blog, this will redirect me to another page like .com slash blog.html. It means this website have multiple pages. So I want to copy the everything. It means the images, the tag or all pages of that website in my local host. So I can host that whole content or I can change something in my HTML code and then publish that website in the another host with the another domain. So you can do that. Make sure don't misuse that trick. Okay. So now how we can copy that whole website data. So first of all, open the terminal. This is the terminal. If you are using Windows, so you can open your terminal using the Windows command and just type terminal. Now open, after opening the terminal, you just need to put CD and just say suppose desktop and press tab and then enter. Now you are in the desktop. Okay. Now we have to save our website that uh, live website, this one live website in our desktop. So how we can do that? So first of all, check that you have installed wget or not. So just type wget and enter. Here you can see the missing URL, users, option and URL. It means this one wget is installed on my MacBook. But if you are using Windows or if you don't have wget or this will say that we can't recognize wget in the Windows. So what you need to do, you need to download that wget. So how we can do that? So it's simple. You need to open that website or just search on Google, download wget for Windows and then enter and you will find that website. I will give you that website link in the description. Open that website. Now we need to download that file. So we need to download that exe file. After downloading that exe file, you need to run that file and then we need to move that exe file in the go to the local C disk windows local C. Okay. First of all, go to the local C drive in the windows. Okay. And go to the windows folder after windows folder. You will find the system 32 open that folder and then you have to paste that wget.exe file in the system 32. Cool. And then whenever you try the wget in the terminal, so you will not get the error. Now that is the process of installing the wget in the windows. Now we need to fetch the whole website data. So first of all, we just need to type wget, then dash, dash, then m i double r o r mirror space, dash, dash, then convert, dash, links, then space, then dash, dash, weight equal to. So mirror, this is, this will deep into your website and this will fetch all the CSS, HTML and everything. Okay. And then this will convert our all links and this will for our server response time. Now we just need to enter our URL. So go to the URL here and we know that our URL is that one is website. Now we need to copy that website URL. So that is my URL tcb site dot zero zero web host app dot com. Copy that URL go to the terminal here and paste that URL like this. Cool. Now we need to click on enter and this will connect it. Yes, connected and waiting for response is 002. Okay. And this will take sometimes five minutes, sometimes three minutes, depend on your internet speed and depend on website data because this will fetch the whole website data. It means this will fetch this will download the that image, that content and all these images, all these product images and everything A to Z. This will copy the CSS file also. So wait some seconds and let's see what's the output in our local host. So you can see that is file is completed, converted links in 14 files in 0.3 seconds. The whole website is completed. That's the log. Now let's move to the desktop. You can see that we have, we are in desktop. Okay. Now go to the desktop 
and here you'll find tcb site 0 webhost app.com open that folder and you will get all files here you can see the portfolio details.html index.html blog.html and blog single.html and you will get the assets open that asset css here you can see the images you will get all images here you can see all images js files and vendors now let me just open that so i will open that index.html in my chrome browser here you can see the localhost user or of desktop website and the website it seem like that i have hosted here cool it means you can copy any website whole website in some seconds or minute i want to change some contents so you can see we are creative agency okay so i want to change that because this one is in my local host so i can't change that my server because i don't have a credential of that but i have a data of that whole website so how can i change that so we just need to copy that we are creative agency open the folder and we need to open that index file with my vs code you can open this with any te text editor open this and that's the html code just find that text where is this this one is here now we just need to change it to like the coding bus the coding bus and then save this and now let's open this and refresh it and see the coding bus cool so that is our totally our own website you can go to the blog blog.html and entire page and everything every images is we have everything so this is the really very simple process to clone any website if you need any help on that so just comment on the video i'll try my best to solve your problems thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe my channel like this video and share this video this video is just for learning purpose have a nice day be safe bye bye